Welcome to Life's Little Things. In case you don't know, my name is Karina. Last month I was working on decluttering this house with the minimalism game with a group of friends, which was so much fun, and I ended up getting rid of over 400 items with that minimalism game. Well, I am continuing to declutter this house. Michelle from My Everyday Wife Life is hosting a one box challenge. So I am taking a pretty good sized box and I'm gonna go around this house and I'm going to fill up that box with things that I can take on over to Goodwill. We just don't use a lot of stuff anymore. So I'm gonna dig through cupboards and cabinets and drawers and I'm gonna see what we just don't use anymore and put it in that box and get it out of this house. I am going to get into that cabinet above the microwave. A lot of the stuff that we keep in this cupboard are tumblers, coffee cups, and travel mugs. So I'm gonna get up there, I'm gonna see what we've completely forgotten about and what we haven't used. If we haven't used it in a while, it's going in the box. These are all the coffee cups and mugs that were in that cabinet. Now I'm gonna gather up my guys and we are gonna go through these to see what we truly just don't use anymore. Before I forget, I want to tell you that this is an open collab, so there's not just a couple people joining in. There is a group of really amazing women that are joining in to this one box challenge and decluttering our homes together. So make sure you check out the playlist below after you're finished watching my declutter video and get lots more motivation to declutter your home. Okay, so we went through all of the cups and stuff and this is what we're going to keep. I have some gift ones that I don't wanna get rid of. So those are gonna go back up in that cabinet. But in the box are all of these cups. Okay, that's a really good start. Look at that. I have a whole side and probably a half of the other one that is empty. So that is excellent. All right, now we are going to tackle this cabinet up above our refrigerator. Oh my goodness, it's such a mess. Except for my centerpiece in the middle of my table, my whole entire table is just loaded with all the stuff from that cabinet. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go through everything and see what I wanna get rid of. I've already seen quite a few things that I know I can part with. This is the stuff that I'm getting rid of. I am getting rid of a bunch of vases. I did keep some <laughs> to have on hand. A lot of towels that I bought, they were, I believe, dollar store, a lot of them were. They washed up terribly, so I don't use them. I definitely don't use all of these, my goodness. Have an extra potato masher. We got this out at Hershey's, Pennsylvania. <laughs> We've hung on to that all these years, oh my goodness. That was when the boys were like nine. And then I have some Christmas bags I don't use, and then this little spoon rust I don't use. So all that stuff's going in the box. Now that we got this cabinet all cleaned out, we have been wanting to put a shelf in that cabinet for a very long time because it just seems to be wasted space up toward the top. It's just such a large cabinet. I actually wanted to put like cookie sheet organizers in there and put the cookie sheets up there, but as tall as that cabinet is, I think it would make it really awkward for me to be able to reach those cookie sheets like that every time I'm baking. So Jason's decided to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and he is going to get the stuff to make a shelf in that cabinet and then we can have all that space that we can use. We don't have much going back into it, honestly, which is really exciting, but it'll be great to be able to use the full capacity of that cabinet where we haven't been able to do that this far. <laughs> Our cleaning closet is really, really small and it doesn't have a light inside of it. It's pitch black dark in there, so I'm not gonna show you the cleaning closet. But Jason went in there looking around to see what else we could get rid of out of that closet. And he found this. I was keeping little plug-in air fresheners in a bin in there. Completely forgot about them. I don't use them, so these are going to go in the box too. Not the bin though. I'm keeping the bin. There wasn't a whole lot in the cleaning closet to really get rid of. But we found this. It's a shower curtain liner, which is 
perfect, perfect timing. I forgot I had bought this. Apparently when I bought it, it got put away, but it got put way up on the top shelf and I forgot that I had bought it. I was actually going to buy another one this week. So honestly, this is perfect. I'm gonna keep this and change out the shower curtain liner in the boys' bathroom. Okay, I just added all of that stuff to this box. So this box is getting really full. This is the top of the box, so I don't have much more room in here, but I'm gonna continue to fill this up. We are in my bathroom. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through the drawers. I'm gonna see if there's anything else I can get rid of. I know that I have some nails from Kiss Nails that I don't wear anymore. And I'll explain that in one second. Yeah, I am into these Impress Nails. So I'm keeping these, but I have a bunch of actual kiss nails that take glue. And the glue ones just tear my nails up horrible. I cannot do it. Now that I've used the Impress nails, I don't want to go back to the glue ones. So these are brand new packs of the kiss nails and I know somebody can definitely use these. So I'm gonna donate these boxes of nails to Goodwill. I found five boxes of these nails in there that I'm not gonna use anymore and it just kills me that I'm not using them because these are so super, super cute. The Impress nails are really cute too, but I never find Impress having the French nails and I love a French nail, especially in the summer. So I'm struggling with that. I wish Impress would make French nails. But anyway, these are gonna go out in the box. <laughs> We have a lot of glass and breakable items in this box. So in order for it not to break, I ended up taking the towels and I put these towels around the glass so that it protects them and they're not, you know, wiggling and jiggling into each other. And I don't have to worry about them breaking on the way to Goodwill or once Goodwill gets them. Okay, Jason put a shelf in, so I have a lot of my towels and some fall things up here. And then down here is all the extra stuff and we set the egg plates where we can reach them. After Easter, we're gonna put those up on the top shelf. So that is so much better. Okay, one area that I kind of forget about is my coat closet. I am gonna go see, oh, it's such a mess. I'm gonna go see if there's something in there, a few things, something <laughs> that I can get rid of. Oh my goodness, this is such a mess. This is also our gaming closet too. I have games all up there. I think there's at least one thing that I can find in here. <laughs> you are never gonna believe this because I don't believe this. <laughs> Up above the door of my coat closet, there is a wall of just empty space. Well, last year, Jason was like, hey, this is empty space up here. We can use this to hang stuff up in this part of the closet. And I was like, that's brilliant. So he put some hooks or nails or something up there and I ended up hanging my spring slash summer wreaths up there. <laughs> I forgot that they were up there. When I was digging around in this closet, I was like, hey, what's up there? And I'm like, look, I'm like, oh my goodness. Those are my spring slash summer wreaths. Oh my goodness. So I was wondering where my door wreath went for my front door. Yeah, it was up there. I love these challenges because it takes me into different areas of my home that I normally would not even go into. I completely forgot and I'm finding treasures in my own home. This is so cool. I believe it was last year I purchased this at Joann's. So I hung it up on my front door and I love it. It is so pretty. It's got pink and purple and just a lot of cuteness going on here. That's the perfect pop of color for my door. I am so glad I found that. The other one I put away for later. Oh, I haven't used this in forever. I believe I created this little tray type thing out of a picture frame 
from Goodwill for one of the Goodwill challenges. I used it for a few years, but I haven't actually thought about it since I got a tray that goes perfectly on my table at Hobby Lobby. So this is going to be donated. All right, I think this is full enough. If I keep filling it, my guys are not gonna be able to lift that box to take it to Goodwill. So I'm gonna stop right there. It's almost up to the top. I have the playlist link below, so make sure that you check out everybody else's videos and get lots more motivation to declutter your home. Thank you so much, Michelle, for doing this challenge. Obviously, I needed it because I filled this box up. <laughs> I found a lot of things. I even found some things that I forgot about that I am using in my home and we got a project done that we have been wanting to do for quite a while. So all in all, this was fabulous to do this challenge. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.